Good morning, cultists. Welcome to a brand new breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. We did it. I mean, we haven't really done anything yet, but we did it. We're finally playing Stellaris with the Utopia DLC. And holy crap, I have been looking forward to this for a very long time. Now, I have checked out the DLC a little bit just to kind of get used to the new systems and mechanics, but I haven't gotten too far ahead. So I'm really excited to explore the unknown depths with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. And as you may have guessed by the name of the series, we're going to be playing as the Vengeful Vegetables. A species of, um, species known as the Salad, who are sentient plant life, who have decided to rise up and destroy all, um, animal life in the world for consuming their brothers and sisters whenever they go on diets or especially for being vegetarian and vegan and all that stuff. They are extremely adaptive because, um, you know, wherever you go, it could be like the grungiest, most disgusting dive bar out there. They still have salad on the menu. And salad is a type of food that you don't really eat on the go. You kind of need a bowl, you kind of need like utensils, you need to be sitting down to really enjoy a salad. And that's why they're sedentary. And they're repugnant because there are some people out there who just get violently ill at the mere mention of a salad. But they are democratic. Um, they're also fanatical purifiers because again, they're sick and tired of um, other aliens eating uh, their brothers and sisters on other planets and stuff. So they want to purge the galaxy of um, filthy Xenos who eat their kind. And they're efficient. They have efficient bureaucracy because um, nothing gets me more excited than core sector system uh, upgrades. And uh, that's why. And they're fanatic xenophobes and militarists because that's the only way I can get the fanatic purifiers um, credo. Or I forget what these things are called, but yeah. Traditions? No, these aren't traditions. Whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll be playing as the fanatic xenophobes and uh, militarists slash the fanatical purifiers because um, I was thinking about playing as a hive mind, but I realized that playing as a hive mind actually locks me out of some of the new Utopia um, features. So in future playthroughs, I'll definitely be playing as hive mind, but for now, we'll play as the fanatical purifiers. And um, further down the line, we'll also be playing as a race that wants to become robots and stuff. But that's all for a future um, series. And we're going to be using uh, lasers to start off. And hyperspace travel. Now, now, now I know what you're thinking. Hyperspace travel? Cthulhu's, are you mad? And to that I say, have you met me? Of course I'm mad. And actually, I have tried hyperspace travel a little bit. And it's actually not that bad. As long as you make sure that your, you know, most of your networks are, for the most part, open, um, you should be fine, but... I don't know, maybe will add an extra dimension of uh, challenge for us. At least until we get side jump drives and shit. And they're gonna be living on continental worlds because I thought that maybe tropical was a little too on the nose? I don't know. And I didn't really like the, um, plantoid structure, so I went with the uh, fungoid, and, uh, I guess... That's about all there is to explain about the, uh, vengeful vegetables. If there's anything I missed out, I apologize. Um, maybe I'll address it in the future, but I don't know. So let's get started. We're going to be playing on a large galaxy. Um, everything else is pretty much default. Got random empire placement as opposed to clusters, because I'm not a big fan of that. And I'm going to be playing with Iron Man mode off, because if I play with it on, it's going to autosave every five seconds, and it's extremely annoying. So, yeah, there we go. Let's get started as the vengeful vegetables and rid the galaxy of all, all animal life, including probably other um, plant life too, but anyways. This is our capital um, planet, Salad Bowl. We are in the system of Crouton, all very uh, salad themed. And uh, let's start off by getting them to survey the moon and all that stuff. And let's see where we are in the galaxy ooh kind of in the middle of this ring here okay cool that's fine let's get these guys to do a little bit of exploring we've got an arid world and a continental world okay cool 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 you guys can um go down there check that out 
I said check that out. Go up there. There. And all these nooks and crannies, please. Thank you very much. Uh, all the way down there. Perfect. Explore that. Yep. Horribly inefficient, but you know what? That's okay. That's just all part of um, running an empire, right? The uh, uh, bureaucracy and red tape and all that crap, maybe? I don't know. Clearly, I've never run an empire, but empire before, but whatever. And you guys will explore that crap all the way down there. Great. Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. And then go th that way and through there. This is like the worst fucking path ever. Holy shit, this is so bad. <laughs> oh well. And the first armada, you'll just stay at home, just in case maybe something goes wrong with the other ones. Oops, I forgot to pick a um a research. We'll go with I guess increased survey speed. And uh, since we already start out with um, colony ships researched, we'll go with orbital hydroponics farms and increase mining network. Fantastic. All right, guys, let's get to this. Holy crap. It is so good to be back in uh, Stellaris. Oh, I've missed this. I really have. I'm so looking forward to this. Unless this goes terribly. In which case, we'll um, maybe abandon ship and then um, start off again. I don't know. <laughs> Already, you have detected alien life forms amongst us. Yep, there we go. What is this? Salad Bowl is in an uproar following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. Their intentions unknown, it would be prudent to assume the worst. Well, well, well. Who are they? Can I see? These are the um, pirates, I think, and what what appears to be a different version of um, the Red Dwarf ship, because if you know the Red Dwarf series, the actual ship Red Dwarf has a huge chunk of asteroid in it, or I guess it's built around the asteroid. Ah, the sun. That was a little uh, too real for me. What the fuck? Who the hell is invading Crouton? Oh, space amoebas. Alright, space amoebas, get the hell out of here. What? You don't need to evade them. Take it easy, bud. Yeah, just... just where, where'd you go? Don't go anywhere. Stay home. Okay? You're fine. Don't worry about it. Jeez Louise. Are you done surveying the system yet? What's taking you so long, man? Jeez. And it's kind of a shame that we don't really have a lot of planets with um, minerals. Unless all of these turn out to be a mineral planets. Nope. Not even in the slightest. Cool, cool, cool. I realize now that I haven't even looked at my um, home planet yet. So let's go ahead and just see what's up here. And we'll prioritize minerals and um, energy. System survey complete. Crouton has been successfully surveyed. Fantastic. So let's now survey... What is this? Lick Lictabon. That sounds wrong. But that's fine. We're not going to judge it for sounding wrong. Ah. A tropical world with uh, 24 slots. Okay. That could be somewhere where we could expand to. Although I'm not a big fan that it's so... F uh, with it being so far away. Head of the Vengeful Vener Vegetables, sorry, Vengeful Vegetables Physics Research Department has gone missing, along with their privately funded, highly experimental prototype science ship. The incident has the scientific community on Silent Bowl in an uproar. What the fuck? How dare you, you asshole? You abandon us in this crucial time of need? At least they didn't take the. Whoa! What the hell is this? A single massive warship has been discovered patrolling the. Algorab system. No life signs can be detected on the vessel, but it is emitting a very strong powerful or power signature and appears to be bristling with weapon systems. It does not respond to hails. Caution is advised. Look at the size of that thing. Where? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We got a, we got a Leviathan slash Titan. Oh. wonder if we can capture this thing. Wonderlust with purpose. The whereabouts of the head, now technically the former head of physics research, have yet to be ascertained. 
Certain details regarding the prototype science ship and the head's private research have reached our ears, and while some aspects seem too fantastical to be true, it is clear that it is in the vengeful vegetables' interest to find and recover the chair as soon as possible. The situation log has been updated. Cool. What is this about? Last known location? Anomaly found. Okay, let's track that. Last stated destination, track that too. And the projectile FTL endpoint. Cool. And uh, ignore the anomaly for now because I don't think you're capable of uh, doing that. Do we need a science ship to science ship to go there, or is it enough for one of our um, military ships to just get there? I guess we'll find out. Uh, what do I want you guys surveying? I guess we'll survey all the. Um, oh, there we go. Surveying all the systems within our uh, border here. Department head is not in the system. Either the lead was a dud or the trail has gone cold. Well, I hope it's not the latter, but uh, it appears that we can actually track him with the military ship. Cool. Let's maybe find him here? Not in there either. Alright, fine. I guess this is the projectile FTL endpoint, so we'll uh, check this place out. Worthosk. Cool. Lick Lictabon has energy, though. The physicist's ship is in this system, we think. We are unable to lock in their position on sensors, but they are hailing us, patching them through to Salad Bowl. You son of a bitch. Greetings and salutations, Caesar Salad. I take this is not a social call? What is the meaning of this? I take it you are referring to my disappearance from vengeful vegetable space. I needed some time away, is all. Well, rather, I lo I'm looking forward to the, uh... Looking for the window, and the window is certainly not there. It is either... Sorry, it is not here either. I must continue my search. I will not be bringing these drones I found, though. Um, you can assign ships to escort you home. I have no interest in returning home at present. But please, as a token of my goodwill, take these drones. A don donation to the Vengeful Vegetables. I found them drifting on the outskirts of the system, and only after extensive repairs did I realize that they are utterly unfit to function as research probes. This conversation is over. The chair has vanished, inexplicably, yet again. However, they did leave a number of drones behind, as promised. The drones are armed, and their weapons are powering up. Battle stations. Um, wait, what? As in, we have to fight them? I hope we don't have to fight them. Wait, where are these drones? You lying sack of shit? There aren't any drones here. What an asshole. Right, we can invest in a new technology or tradition. I think we should go with expansion just to kind of get that early um, leg up on things, right? And let's actually get some some of this. Ooh, Betharian power plant. Oh my god. Can we colonize this? Oh, that's an anomaly? Wait a minute, I can't settle on it because it has an anomaly? That is stupid. It's garbage. Eh, whatever. Alright, man. Um, then whatever you're doing there, why don't you finish that up and then we'll have you research that so that we can finally settle on that crap. Oh, we've got three potential places where we can settle right off the bat. As well as Chi Draconis. Okay, cool. Don't die, though, because I'd hate for you to die right now. It'd be a bit of a blow to our exploration here. A apocalypse past. Lictabon 1 was once home to a race of astonishing, or reasonably, I don't know where I saw astonishingly, reasonably intelligent beings who destroyed themselves when they were seemingly only decades away from spaceflight. The planet has recovered from what must be an immense acts of senseless destruction, but it still bears very visible scars. One of the few remaining ruins on the surface holds a reasonably well-placed stone monolith inscribed with a message. Quickly decoded by Viola Oak, it is a warning from the last of the extinct species to whoever they believed would arise after their passing. It was the development of an un ultimate weapon that was their downfall. Some quirk in the psychology of the species evidently rendered deterrence through mutually assured destruction impossible. Survivors, before dying of unknown causes soon after, hid this weaponry deep underground as destroying them was difficult and left this message um, to dissuade us from go uh, lo going looking for them. Uh, let's find those Situation weapons! But let's also get this place colonized, please. Thank you very much. 
it might actually result in the utter destruction of this planet, but oh well, that's okay. That's a risk we take. Licked him on Prime? No, you are... Pluton. There we go. Nice. Getting a colonization right off the bat. That is fantastic. I kind of wish we had a little bit more um, mineral-rich places where we could set up uh, mining stations, but I guess this will this have to do. Who's our leader right now? Bud Light. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's not a name that I actually typed up. It's a randomly generated name. It's one of the, um, I think, Plantoid 3 category of names. And uh, yeah, Bud Light is a, actually randomly generated, which is quite awesome. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Explore the anomaly. Let's get, I guess, um, mineral processing plants. That's always helpful, I think. And maybe not. Since you guys did so much exploring, actually, why don't you guys explore this area too? Toad asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into the stable orbit around uh, Fricad 1. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have been long since rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but before we go any further, let's do a little bit more exploring here and there, please. And thank you. There we complete. go. Research that too? Complete. Perfect. And then after you're done, then you can come home and we'll get someone else to... Explore the other branch. Uh, let's next go with... I'm thinking upgrade to the uh, monthly influence. That would be helpful, I think. System and let's actually get some... Mineral stations. No, not mineral stations. Oh, power plant too. Yes, please. Let's get a uh, mining station. There we go. Also, um... In progress. Just to, I guess... Uh, just a disclaimer. I am playing with a few mods. Nothing that is, like, overtly game-changing. I think the biggest one would be the um, auto-build mod, which I played in uh, previous playthroughs or pre previous campaigns as well. And it lets me um, set uh, buildings to auto-upgrade whenever I have the resources and stuff so that I don't, like, forget to upgrade them, which always happens for me, so... It's more so a matter of convenience than anything else. Birth of Space Piracy. A large group of faithless criminals from Salad Bowl have illegally converted a number of civilian transports, or spaceships, into weapons of war. Operating on the fringes of our space, these heretics have started calling themselves the Black Guild, and are responsible... Oh my god. And are responsible for several attacks against civilian shipping lanes. Their profane activities must not be allowed to continue. Indeed. Let's get some corvettes that we can't afford built, so we can't do anything. Got it. They're most likely going to be, yep, yeah, gunning for that mining station. Cool. Thanks. Complete. Appreciate station it. Just what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted for Christmas, and it's not even Christmas yet. You're really taking a long time to get there, man. Mining Why'd you have to go that way? There's clearly a path there. What are you, a fool? What a numbnut. What's taking you, man? It's keeping you so long. Or oh, it's taking you so long. I don't know what that meant. Oh, you're actually surveying this too? Alright, cool. Fine. Situation log updated. Whatever. Once you're done with Cheetah Draconis, go over to Vermilion and explore that too. And we're Thosk as well, because I think we're actually pretty close to um, encapsulating that into our borders. Let's get some uh, more Corvettes going, because... Uh, whoa, what is this? Enigmatic... Fortress. That's awesome. We have detected some kind of utterly massive space installation drifting quietly at the edge of the Corval system. Although preliminary scans show it to be very old, the structure has an intense power signature. Several smaller structures can be seen floating near the main installation, and all of them appear to be heavily armed. If we are to learn the true nature of this ancient relic, we will likely have to overpower its defenses through force of arms. It will not be easy. Indeed. Hmm... Can you do anything else in the meantime? Oh, holy crap, look at that mineral count. Complete. That is awesome. 
Is the construction complete? Do we have enough to fight off the, um... Okay. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Salad Bowl. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life th found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Situation yeah, sure. Let's do it. Updated. System survey. I mean, there's no real um, downside to doing it, so... If we get a couple more Corvettes? Oh, fantastic. Let's go with, um, colonization fever. There we go. Hmm, that's taking a while. Colony established. The Covenant of Tebor. What the fuck is this? Oh, look at them. Pacifistic spiritualists. Keep out of our way or we will make you. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core. Leaked footage of these bizarre creatures is spreading through the media, or through media outlets across the vengeful vegetables, and many citizens have been gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities on Salad Bowl. Is that really the uh, most appropriate reaction to discovering that there's other sentient life out there in the universe? Really? Rioting? Instead of destroying our stuff, why don't you go over to them and destroy their stuff? I don't get it. The strange Xenos appear to have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they are clearly spacefaring. Whether they regard our great species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference is anyone's guess. We should assume the worst. Indeed. Alright, why don't you guys merge up? These guys are inferior, so we could potentially just crush them right now, but we're not going to. We're going to close our borders on them, and then we're going to declare them our rivals. Because that gives us a little bit of extra influence, I think. And I think we still need to get a little bit more of a leg up on our Corvettes. But, before I do that... Located in a remote uh, part of Chi Draconis II, the science team of the... whatever, has found an out-of-place metallic tablet. It contains basic information about a distant system, using illustrations in what appears to be a periodic table. Science officer Viola Oak has been able to use the information to deduce the location and potential resources of the system. Fantastic. Where is this? Zer. It's not that distant. Kind of, but not that distant. Alright, once you're done exploring all that. Let's explore this and there too, because now they're in our System range. Complete. As with that. Faction founded. A new faction has been recently gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Vengeful Vegetables, led by Caesar Salad Bud Light. They call themselves the Glory Initiative. Their members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but those that approve of the government's actions could prove useful. Wait, so our Caesar Salad actually founded the Glory Initiative? The military guys? What about the, um, Xenophobe guys? Couldn't have founded that faction? You chump? Jeez. Alright, fine. Let's get some mineral stations built on this thing. Sorry, mining stations, my bad. Anomaly found. Ignore that. You're, you're not good enough for that just yet. And I think we should have enough resources System to build another one. Anomaly sure, you can explore that one. That's a 0% chance of failure. I don't trust anything above 10%. Anything above 10% is a guaranteed fail. And the scientist, Viola Oak, has founded the faction called the Popular Vote Watch. Oh god, they're fucking egalitarians. Wait, what happened to the other faction? Where'd they go? A micro-singularity recently intersected Vermilion 2, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further studies may be warranted. Fascinating. Indeed. Alright, so it's going pretty well so far. Um, got a few planets that we can colonize. Oh, Betharian power plant, I love it so much! 
Should we colonize it? We don't have enough resources. Cool. Got it. Thanks. All right, uh, mining station guy. Sorry, construction ship. If you could hurry it up a little bit, that would be fantastic, please. And thank you. As per Caesar Salad Bud Light's mandate, additional mining stations have been constructed. Ah. One of the primary benefits of playing as a democratic society is the uh, easy gain of influence by fulfilling mandates and shit. Fantastic. Research Ultimate weapon right. You can still do that thing. System survey Let's next go. Oh, Bitharian power plant. Oh, of course. Come on. It's a natural choice right there. Complete. You, you really done? Okay, cool. Why don't you build one there as well? Now, I know we're spending a fair bit of minerals on mining stations, but it should come in handy, I think. And actually, while you're at it, build one on Hostile that. Fleet detected. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Okay, where are they? Lictabon. They're in range. But I think we need to invest a little bit more in our Corvette Hostile technology. Fleet. Okay. Governor Heath Light, maybe they're related to our um, current dude. Operation Battle Cry. Okay, so they. Um, I don't know why it was refounded, but okay, cool. That's good to know, I guess. Construction. Are you guys, able to take them System on or? Complete. Hey, unable to build something. Cool. And we Situation lost Jimmy. Updated. Son of a bitch, that Jimmy. Always dying and shit. What an asshole. Alright, fine. Let's uh, invest in more Corvettes and then destroy this pirate um, base or whatever. There we go. No, no, no. Leave it for now. Let's go with uh, negative growth time. That's always good for colony development and crap. Oh, new tradition. Fantastic. Population growth time reduction? Yes, please. What? We have a new election? Already? Alright, fine. Um, we got Bud Light, who's... Ah, actually, that's pretty good. I like that. What about... Um... Hmm. Who can we invest in here? Viola Oak's not so bad. I mean, she's got the plus 10 to minerals, but... We'll continue with Bud Light for the time being. Um, because of the reduction in, um... Mining station costs. It's always very helpful. Construction complete. They destroy one of our um situation log updated. Mining stations? Oh no, they didn't. You just didn't finish it. Got it. Cool beans. Ooh, plus five to research speed. Yes, please. And if you guys could upgrade your souls, fantastic. And I think these guys are strong enough to take on um the uh, pirate fleet. Sorry, the uh, pirate station. System Wherever they are. Complete. Anyone know where they are? Because I certainly don't. I have no idea. Uh, is that not it? That is it. There we go. We found them. Kill them all. Kill them all and let the plant god sort them out. Here we go. Oh yeah, one of the really cool, I guess, kind of like cosmetic additions that they made with the... Um, updated. With the, the, that they included with, uh, I guess, the latest patch, is the trail lights. That's right. The um, the fleets now have trail lights that are uh, equivalent to that of your primary colors, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Construction complete. Or it could be secondary colors. I think it's primary colors, but whatever. It's fine. Let's get a power plant going over there. Pretend you System can build some of that, just to make sure that we're actually making use of these uh, lands there. And you know what? Sure, we'll improve some of this stuff too. There we go. And you know what? We might as well clear that out too. Fantastic. But I will be focusing mostly on getting uh, mining stations built, as well as colonization of... Habitable. Holy shit! Look at this place. My god, this is like our energy station right there. This is the best. Uh, science station, I believe you have a lot more stuff to research, so don't just sit around doing nothing. There you go. See? A lot of stuff for you to explore. 
discover. All the way down there. There you go. Oh, and that too. Don't forget. Right, okay, you're, you're full up on orders. Got it. Yep. If it's a 0%, definitely take that chance. Hopefully you won't fail on a 0%. Don't think I've ever actually seen that happen, thankfully, but you never know, right? Across the barren fields of Mardom 2A, there are indications of old battles being fought. Beneath the lifeless ground, our researchers on the uh, science ship have found bones, metallic shards, and most surprisingly, a container filled with documents. If we send the documents to our homeworld for translation, we could potentially learn more about this war and who fought in it. It would also be possible to simply sell them off as antiques. Ah, uh, that's not... Yeah, yeah, let's let's send it to our homeworld for research. Updated. All right, well, that's going to have to be it for our first episode. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, please be sure to leave me a like, and that would be greatly appreciated, especially because this is the first episode in a brand new series. And if you do want to um, see more uh, from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will... Uh, I will bring you more. Um... Regardless of where this campaign goes, whether we fail or succeed, hopefully uh, succeed. I almost said fail. Hopefully we will succeed. Um, regardless, uh, we'll if it doesn't go so well, we'll just start again. And um, in the future, I will definitely be playing as different ethos and creeds in the future uh, Stellaris campaigns. So in other words, I'll be trying out like playing as a hive mind. I'll be trying out playing as like a species that wants to become all robots and all that stuff so it should be really exciting and i'm really really looking forward to taking this journey with you guys so without further ado let's leave it off here and we'll see you guys again tomorrow for some more stellaris so thanks for watching and have a good breakfast